Hi, I'm Eric Rouse with Chicago Flyhouse. Today what we're going to look at is the effect of kinks on wire rope. We use miles and miles of wire rope in the entertainment industry, and we're always kind of interested in what the effects of slight bends or severe kinks are on the wire rope that we use. Um, today we're going to look at three different scenarios. We're going to look at one very straight piece that doesn't have any kinks in it at all, one that has very slight bends in it, and then one that has pretty severe kinks, and these are all eighth inch cable. And we're gonna look at the different braking strengths, the different scenarios, and see how it affects the working load limit. So we've done the tests, and now we're gonna look at the results. Um, there's nothing really earth shattering here. Everything did exactly what we thought would happen, right? So the first one that we broke, the control, right? Straight pull, no kinks in it, broke at around 2,100 pounds, exactly what we'd expect. And it broke right at the sleeve, which is what's supposed to happen. Um, the next one was the one with the bends, slight bends, still broke at the sleeve, right? A little less capacity, we lost a few pounds, and uh, yeah, actually we got a little bird cage here, right? In the middle of the rope where one of the bends was. So kind of interesting. Um, on the kink, a completely different story. Here we have a break about three or four inches down from the sleeve where one of those severe kinks was. So we saw that we did produce some pretty significant damage to the wire rope. We also lost about 10% of its capacity, right, which is going to affect the working load limit. Now what I want to emphasize here is not to focus on a mere loss of 10%, but focus on the fact that we did lose a significant amount of its capacity, and that's completely variable. You don't know what that's going to be. So. Should you retire wire ropes that have those severe kinks in them? Absolutely. And we see those a lot, uh, mainly on the arena side of things, convention center side, where stuff's going over I-beams and getting a lot of pressure on them. So look inside, look at that and see if there's any gaps in the wire rope, see if there's any hard lines. Um, if you do see that or you see something as pinched as we, what we did for our experiment here, you're going to want to take it out of service. Well, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you're interested, you could actually subscribe to our channels and get these videos more often. You could also send us ideas of stuff that you might want to see. So see you next time.